Hi, my name is Olivia and welcome back to my channel, Endless Pages. Today's video is going to be a book haul. I have 10 books to talk about here today. Um, I haven't done a book haul in like two months, so I'm excited to share with everyone all the great new books that I have got. The first book I have is Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Um, I recently read uh, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and fell in love with that book. Um, so I want to go read now that like everything that um, Taylor Jenkins Reid has ever written. Um, and this is her latest book. Uh, this book is set in the 80s um, and is about the River family. Um, so Mick River is like a famous rock star. Um, and his daughter Nina is um, holding the end of summer party in their big uh, mansion. Um, and uh, it's the book I think is just about the party. Um, it takes a place across the night of the party. I think that's the whole book is just that one night. Um, and I think it's about all the River siblings and all of their secrets kind of coming out throughout the night. Um, and the night ends in a massive fire. Um, so yeah, I loved Taylor Jenkins Reid's writing in Evelyn Hugo, um, and yeah, I'm slowly purchasing all of her books to read, um, and I hope that I love this one as well. Next up we have Renegades by Marissa Meyer. This is the first book in the Renegades trilogy. Um, this is a really, really popular young adult series. Um, it's about this world where there's people called Renegades and they kind of have like special abilities. Um, and they use those abilities to um, promote justice and peace and um, keep the world from um, being in chaos. Um, and we follow Nova, um, who has a reason we don't know why yet to hate the Renegades. Um, and she gets closer to her target, which is a renegade boy called Adrian. Um, and it says Nova's allegiance is to a villain who has the power to end them both. Um, I've heard it's really fun, really great writing, um, and I've been meaning to pick this one up for so, so long. So I'm finally uh, able to start the series, and I hope I love it as much as everyone else does. And then I got Percy Jackson and the Battle of the Labyrinth by uh, Rick Riordan. This is the fourth book in the Percy Jackson series. I think everyone knows what this book is about. The first one, Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, is about... Um, Percy and he's a demigod so the son of a god and his mum's human um, and he is accused of stealing Zeus's um, lightning bolt so he must find it and return it before all out war. Um, so it's a really fun middle grade series and I'm very much enjoying working my way through these this year and yeah I'm excited to get into another fun adventure in the fourth book. Next up I got The Final Girl Support Group by Grady Hendrix. Um, this is really cool because I've never read any kind of horror before I don't think other than I read like Dracula. Um, but I don't really read horror so I'm very excited to jump into a new genre. Um, you probably know this author wrote uh, The Southern, what is it, The Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires which is a really popular book and that really cool um, Ikea horror book which name I cannot think of. Um, so I thought I would try out his latest book. Um, this is about um, a woman called Lynette and she is the sole female survivor of a massacre that happened about 20 odd years ago I think. Um, and she's part of a uh, kind of like a group support group therapy um, where they kind of work together to um, kind of get their lives back on track after the horrendous um, things that happened to them. Um, but somebody finds out about the support group and is determined to take apart um, their lives bit by bit. So this sounds really cool, it's a really cool concept and I have heard that he is a fantastic horror writer. So if I like these, this one, hopefully I can go back and read his other super, super popular books. Another young adult book I picked up is The Infinity Court by um, Akemi Dawn Bowman. Um, mainly because of this cover as well. It's gorgeous. <laughs> um, so this is about a girl called Naomi um, and she is a high school student on her way to a party um, but she doesn't make it uh, because she is murdered. Um, and she wakes up in this place called Infinity, which is where um, the human conscious goes after you die. Um, and she finds out there's like this AI that humans use on Earth called Ophelia, I think. Yeah, Ophelia. Um, and Ophelia has taken over the afterlife and is forcing the humans to serve her um, as she served humans on Earth. Um, and Ophelia is trying to um, kind of eradicate all human existence. So um, 
uh, Naomi has to work together with a group of rebels to um, save humanity and I really like this sentence um, in the blurb um, it says as Naomi works with a team of rebels to bring down Ophelia and save humans under her imprisonment she is forced to reckon with her past her future and what it is that truly makes us human um, really intriguing premise so I'm hoping um, that it lives up to uh, my expectations. So I'm always saying I want to get into graphic novels so I finally picked up one that I know is a very very popular and well-known graphic novel series. Um, so I got the first book Saga in the Saga series um, which is by Brian Vaughan and Fiona Staples. Um, this is a adult science fiction graphic novel series um, and it's about two people from um, they're both soldiers and they're from the opposite sides of this war that's been going on for a long time um, and they fall in love and um, it's about them I think it says about them trying to find their place in the world as they bring a new life into it. Um, I know this is really well known and really popular so I thought it would be a safe bet to start off my hopefully love of graphic novels. And then I got Seafire which is by uh, Natalie C. Parker. This is a young adult fantasy series and it follows a girl called Caledonia um, whose family was brutally murdered by this um, corrupt warlord called Arik. I think that's his name, Arik. Yes. Um, and she then kind of takes on the mission of captaining her own ship um, which is a crew that is all females and all the other females on her crew have had um, either lost their homes or their families due to Eric as well um, and his army which are called the Bullets um, and then one day there's a really bad attack by the Bullets um, on her ship and she almost loses her second in command and her kind of best friend um, and then this uh, Bullet who is looking to deflect um, kind of uh, she has to question whether or not she tr should trust him and let him join her crew um, and help them on the mission to finally take down Eric once and for all. So this sounds like a really fun um, pirate sea adventure. I really enjoyed uh, da Daughter of the Pirate King as I said and I really enjoyed like the pirate setting. Um, so hopefully this will be another fast paced fun pirate story. So then I got The Bridge Kingdom by Daniel L. Jensen. Um, I purely got this book based on the fact that I heard it's enemies to lovers um, and that's all it takes for me to buy a book to be honest. So I don't know much about it so I'm just gonna read the blurb because I can't summarize it because I literally don't know what it's about. Um, so this is about Lara and she has only one thought for her husband on their wedding day. I will bring your kingdom to its knees. Uh, a princess trained from childhood to be a lethal spy, Lara knows the bridge kingdom represents both legendary evil and legendary promise. The only route through the storm ravaged world, the bridge kingdom controls all trade and travel between lands, allowing its ruler to enrich him and deprive his enemies including Lara's homeland. So when she is sent as a bride under the guise of fulfilling a treaty of peace, Lara is prepared to do whatever it takes to fracture the defences of an impenetrable bridge kingdom. But as she infiltrates her new home, a lush paradise surrounded by tempest seas, and comes to know her new husband, Aaron, Lara begins to question where the true evil resides. Around her, she sees a kingdom fighting for survival, and in Aaron, a man fiercely protective of his people. As her mission drives her deep uh, understanding of the fight to possess the bridge, Lara finds the simmering attraction between her and Aaron impossible to ignore. Her goal ne nearly within reach, Lara will have to decide her own fate. Will she be the destroyer of a king or the saviour of a people? Okay, that sounds awesome um, and intense and I love the sound of it. I, yeah, I think I'll like this one. The next book I got I'm so, so excited for because it's currently getting so hyped all over like every book, book platform. Everyone's saying it's so good. So I'm really excited I finally got my copy and that is Ace of Spades by Faraday Abike Iemide. Um, and this is kind of a young adult like mystery book. Um, it's about two students. Um, and they've just been announced as uh, the new prefects at this really prestigious like private school um, and just after that's announced um, someone by the name of Aces, um, someone anonymous, starts um, sending around the school really private um, details and secrets about the two prefects um, and the prefects kind of have to work together to figure out who this Aces is and stop them from spreading um, their massive secrets. 
Um, I am so excited. I really hope this book is not overhyped because I have such high, high expectations because of what everyone's been saying about it and how fantastic it is. So I am, this is up there on the list. I need to read this like right now as soon as I stop filming this. So very, very excited. The final book I have here today is Fury Born by Claire Legrand. I have been meaning to read this book for months and months. I know it's a very popular trilogy. Um, a young adult uh, trilogy. So this one is um, about Raelle and um, she has assassins ambush her best friend um, and she kind of exposes herself um, as having the uh, ability to perform magic um, and the only people who should possess this power are a pair of prophesized queens, queen of light and a queen of blood. So she has to prove she's on the sun queen by enduring seven trials to test her magic um, and if she fails, she will be killed. Um, and then we skip to a thousand years later, um, and her legend is a mere fairy tale to bounty hunter, ooh, El El Eliana, I think, can I say you say that? Um, and she embraced violence to keep her family safe when, um, her, when the Undying Empire, um, conquered her kingdom, um, and her, then her mother vanishes and to find her she joins a rebel captain on a dangerous mission and discovers that the evil at the heart of the empire is more terrible than she ever imagined um, and then I think yeah I think it's set in two dual perspectives so um, with Rael and then a thousand year, years later with Eliana um, and I think yeah their stories kind of have connections and you see that throughout the book I have heard, I can't say anything bad about this book. I know it's very, very popular and I know this year, I think, the third and final book in the trilogy came out. So um, if I like it, I'll be able to read the whole series. So yeah, that's the final book. Those are the 10 books that I have gotten recently um, and there will definitely be more book hauls coming in the future because I cannot stop buying them. I'm literally out of space on my shelf, so I don't know where they're gonna go, but they're definitely coming. So thank you so much for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed, let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books or um, if you just want to talk about any of the books that you've bought recently, I'd love to hear about them. So I will see you in the next video, bye!